Hello everyone, welcome to Potionomics. This is the incredibly adorable potion simulator, potion making simulator, alchemist simulator game that I've been looking forward to for quite a bit. It uh, has like romance and all kinds of stuff. It's also a deck builder. Like you talk to other characters and you can get their haggling tactics to get better prices on the various things that you sell. So I'm very, very excited for this. Let's go ahead and hop in. I haven't played anything like Reketeer in quite a while and I'm very excited. My dearest Sylvia, greetings from Rafta. It's here on this charming island that I'll build my potion shop, fulfilling my lifelong dream. Hope that one day you'll be able to see it. Among the very first to set foot on the island since Maven the Witch Queen fell in battle, her unsanctioned experiments made this a land like no other. Who knows what riches await me? Love to your mother. Tell your father he still owes me money. Your uncle, Oswald. Thank you, Oswald. Dearest niece, thank you for sending me your potion. Sadly, it must have spoiled in transit, unless you meant for it to taste like old cabbage. Anyway, keep at it. Warms my heart to think you might follow in your old uncle's footsteps. Shanks, is that you? After mountains of paperwork and months of construction, my potion shop is finally reality. We open our doors tomorrow. Wish me luck. Although, what could go wrong? Oh no. Um... I mean, usually how these, like, life sim slash you inherit a business games go is the person that owned the business dies, so... Uh, I don't- I'm not very happy about the future of my uncle here. Sincerely, Uncle Oswald. Sylvia, if you're reading this, it means I'm dead, which isn't great. <laughs> Fair? <laughs> More to the point, it means I've died without an heir. I implore you, Sylvia, don't let this be the end of my shop, my dream. Come to Rafta, accept your inheritance, and show this town what our family is capable of achieving! You can do it! Dearly departed, Oswald. Sylvia. Please accept our firm's condolences for the recent loss of your relation, Oswald. Per the terms of Oswald's will, you are the lawful recipient of his property on the island of Rafta. However, given the island's remote location and unusual history, such, as an, such an inheritance must be claimed in person or else will be deemed forfeit. We hope that this inheritance offers some comfort in your time of mourning. Considering the significant sums your uncle borrowed from our establishment, it's certain to be an impressive piece of property. Do you also have an impressive amount of debt? Oh yeah, it's great. Oh, look at it, it's wonderful. Let's go. But yeah, this is a deck builder too. Like, I have to build a... What's the word? Um, like a, a haggling deck, and I can use different cards to affect the customers in different ways. It seems really cool. Okay, this place is not all I hoped for. But this could still work. I can make this work. I just need to air it out a bit and chase off that bird I saw in the rafters. Good thing I've got a broom. Forgive me for the intrusion. Hi? I wasn't expecting to have an opportunity to act on Oswald's will so soon. I'm... H Helena or Helen? Helena or Helen? I don't, I don't know. Helena. And you're Sylvia, right? We have some business to discuss, but first, I should offer my condolences on the loss of your uncle. Your theme is very ominous. Thanks, but I didn't really know him that well. All the same, it's a pity, particularly since he left behind such a substantial debt. As his designated heir, responsibility for that debt now falls to you. What? Really? I didn't know that's how it worked. But... I guess that's fine. I'll be making money now that I've got the shop. Excellent. Would you like to pay the full balance of one million gold now? Yup. What? Think you'd prefer to set up a payment plan? But, don't- but that's so much gold! You could build five shops with that much gold! What in the world did Oswald do with all of it? Mismanaged it, by judge of appearances. I have his contract right here, if you'd like to look it over. That fine print is... very fine. Rude. What did you just do? I've invoked a soul binding, which transfers Oswald's rights and obligations onto you. Make your payments on time, and the shop is yours. Default on the loan, however, and you forfeit the property, and will be legally obligated to work for us until such a time as we deem your debt repaid. That sounds... bad. Confident that you have everything you need to succeed. In fact, here. I'll get you started. Sell this old potion, so I can be your first patron. Oh, great. Okay, so now we're gonna get introduced here, so... Uh, Helena, I, I, I'm just gonna call you Helen. It'll be easier. It'll be easier. I, I swear I've heard someone I, I've heard of someone named Helena before. 
but minimally interested interest raise the customer's interest and fill the bar to increase the potion's selling price impatience customer loses one patience this turn this value increases by one after every turn cannot be removed and you are a stoic attorney and you have 11 patience the uh, patients, uh, customer's patience at zero the customer will leave without buying okay so attempt to raise her interest in the potion flail in your attempt to raise her interest in the potion blunder your way through an attempt to raise her interest in the potion definitely blunder i like you'll think it wait wait no it's uh pretty good probably it's a potion wait wait you you knew that <laughs> we're fantastic at this Customer's turn. The stress is getting to me. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing these animations of if, like, your character gets stressed, like, poor Sylvia here starts pulling on their hair and everything. The current odds of drawing a stress card whenever a card is drawn. Ooh. If at if in the hand at the end of the turn, increase stress by 20. Oh, these are like curses and Slay the Spire. If in hand at the end of the turn, increase stress, increase stress, increase stress. An unplayable card in place of a haggle card due to stress. Oh no. Oh, there we go. I'm too stressed to function. <laughs> well, I trust you'll get the hang of it. You have a full 10 days before your first payment is due. I'll be seeing you, Sylvia. Good luck. Of course. Of course this would happen. I never should have come here. What am I going to do? Oh. Uh, shit. Huh? Owl! Adorable owl! Ow, my hip. Uh, I mean, hoot hoot. I heard that. You... You can talk. I love owls. Well, well, of course I can talk. You must be new here. This is Rafta, where the strange is commonplace, and, and the birds are chatty. And what are property laws like in Rafta? Because I'm pretty sure you're trespassing. I live here, actually, if you can call it living. Eating scraps, hiding in the shadows. You live here? In the shop? I didn't know Uncle Oswald had a pet. Oh, uh, did, did he never mention me? How strange. Perhaps he was, uh, just so embarrassed to admit how integral I was to his shop. Yes, that's it. In fact, I was the brains of his whole operation. My name is... Owl. You didn't do a very good job being the brains of the operation, considering the debt. Owl? Really? I guess Uncle Os Oswald was a first idea, best idea kind of guy. Anyway, Owl, it was nice meeting you and all, but I'm getting on the first boat out of here. No, 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 you don't want to do that. I saw what happened, that lawyer's soul binding means she'll be able to track you to the end of the globe. Miss a single payment and you'll find yourself toiling away for untold years, chained to a cubicle until you've worked off your debt. Sounds awful. There's no way I can make enough by selling potions. Maybe not through the traditional route, but you've arrived at a fortuitous time. There are five competitions taking place over the next 50 days. A series of contests in which local merchants will go head-to-head -head in tournaments of artistry and salesmanship. Look, I have information on the first competition right here. You see? The initial prize money will cover your first payment handily. Ooh. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. You'll simply have to make a few specific potions in advance. Those are what you'll be judged on. Win the first competition, and you automatically qualify for the next one, for which the prizes will be even better. And just look at that juicy grand prize. Win all five competitions, and you'll have the money you need to go to that debt to get that debt collector off your back for good. You really think I've got a shot at this? Probably. I mean, it's really your only hope. And I'm willing to help. Brains of the operation, remember? I know a thing or two. Well, all right then. What are we waiting for? Let's do it. You and me, Owl. We're gonna win those competitions. Let's brew some potions. Let's make some money. Let's do some potionomics! Oh, you said the thing. Oh boy. Wonderful. Stockpile health and mana potions to better support your heroes. Events. A potion a day keeps the healer away. Uh, one day. A new study has highlighted the benefits of daily health potion use in shoring up the body's natural defenses. Increased value for health potions. Cool. See, so you clean the place up a bit. Nicely done. Uh-huh. Now the real work can begin. We need to craft some potions. Let's ever do, head over to the cauldron and get brewing. God, I'm so excited. Brew! Your uncle left a handful of ingredients behind. We'll have to make do with those for now. I assume you know your way around a cauldron. You went to school for this, after all. 
I learned how to make pretty much any potion you can think of. There's just one problem. I'm not fully licensed yet. What? Don't blame me. The regulations are intense. I have to prove I can handle the basic stuff before they let me brew more advanced potions. See? I got the first stamp when I graduated. To get the next one, I have to put in a lot of hours at the cauldron. Well, you'll certainly get your hours. Starting now, in fact. Right. My first professional brew. <clears throat> I better go over my notes from college, just to be safe. Potion crafting is the art of brewing a whole catalog of drinkable liquids with a variety of magical effects. A potion requires a minimum of two different magic-infused ingredients to be combined and heated in a cauldron. Every ingredient contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magimens. It contains one or more color-coded and letter-assigned magimens. Is that, like, how much of each thing there is in this? So at the top of the star, there's a high amount of that, and there's a low amount of this? Ah, yes, the mighty magimen. Where would we be without it? It's like vitamin, but magic. Wherever magic has left its mark upon the world, there you will find magimens, magical creatures, mystical plants. Even the rocks of the supernatural island contain this critical alchemical compound. Heating an ingredient releases the magimens contained within it, thus infusing your potions with the very essence of magic. For that reason, a potion-specific recipe is best thought of as a specific combination of magimens. The ingredient is only the vessel. The magimens they contain will determine what kind of potion is created. Aha. Makes sense. Ratios are important too. If your balance of magimens is out of whack, the resulting potion will be less valuable. Sounds like a lot, but it's simple, once you get the hang of it. This really reminds me of, um... There's a Minecraft mod I've done. Is it is it Witchery? It might be Witchery that I've done um, in like a Skyblock mod pack that used this kind of thing. Where you kind of had to balance things out. Might be Thaumcraft too. Okay, one step at a time. Gotta put ingredients into the cauldron to make a potion. Duh. Can't go wrong with health potions, and I have that recipe memorized. Health potions require a combination of red and green magimens. Some fey berries and mandrake roots should do the trick. Okay, yeah, now I definitely feel like I'm playing, uh, what was it? Witch in the Woods, the early access, uh, alchemical game that I played? That one's pretty good, too. Recommended com competition potions. A common health potion, a common fire tonic, and a common mana potion. So, yeah, so this has six. The true magical fruit that grow in every magic... Okay, so this has six of the, uh, the red ones, right? Oop. Gotta put it there, okay, in there. Okay, so formula is one to one. So, okay, so that that isn't determining the amount that's in each thing. It's just A, B, C, D, and E. And those are the different types of magimens. So they're color-coded, yeah, and have a letter, like I said. That, that, that's not talking about their efficacy in the uh, whatever material you have. That's just what they're labeled as. Okay, good to know. So I'm gonna make six here, right? Balance of magimens is perfect. Potion gains two additional stars on completion with a chance of gaining a bonus star. Uh, so we're good now, right? Or do I need to put more? Oh, I need to put more in to completely fill it? Uh, I do believe so. There we go. Yeah. That's everything we need. Let's get the lid on and set the brew. Boom. Alright, nothing left to do here but let it cook. Okay, and it's gonna take two... Be careful of hiring big hero expeditions. Ooh. Your potion should be ready in the afternoon. In the meantime, I have some old ones in our inventory. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and arrange them on the shelves. Yes, now this is the Reketeer stuff that I'm used to. And like Moonlighter and various other things. I love the idea of operating your own shop front. It's fun. Also makes me think of all the Papa's Blankeria games that I used to play a ton of. All right, arrange potions. These old health potions won't set the world on fire, but if nothing else, selling them will be good practice for you. Put them on the shelf now. Once that's done, they'll be available for sale when we open shop. Okay, and I only have one shelf. Good. Now when customers come in, they'll see what you have available for purchase. I should mention, the shelf on which you put a potion will have an effect on the potion's value. These shelves are underwhelming, but we can invest in some better ones later. Yeah, so it's not worth as much because it's on a shitty shelf. <laughs> Alrighty. We're finally ready to open the store. Let's sell some potions. Alrighty, open shop. Costs two time slots, which means my potions will be done after this, like you said. Okay, hopefully this goes better than yesterday. It will. It has to. Just keep the basics in mind and you'll be fine. Haggling, the art of conversing with customers in order to get the highest value for each potion. 
You'll want to use every haggling strategy you know to raise each customer's interest. The higher the interest, the more they'll pay. So yeah, this is the this is where we get into the deck building that I was talking about, and we can get new cards by interacting with other characters and stuff, which is interesting. We can copy their techniques. Keep a close watch on your customer's patience. Every customer has a finite supply, and if you exhaust it, they'll leave without making a purchase. Disaster. So, I wonder if there's negative, neg negative effects of just getting their patience really low every time, or if the only real bad thing is if it goes completely to zero. Um, because I imagine, like, do, do I want to push the envelope as much as I possibly can every time to get as much interest? Or does even lowering their patience to the lower amounts have a negative effect as well? Of course, customers have negotiation strategies of their own. Try not to let them stress you out too much. Ack, here comes one now. You've got this. Good to see you, I mean it. This looks pretty great, if the price is right. Beppy Commoner, okay. Should start by setting them up for a sales pitch. So raise interest by four. If opener, apply set them up. Set them up, increase interest applied by reel them in by 20%. Oh god, yeah, we're getting... Ho, 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 ho. Okay. This card has an ability which will activate only if it is played uh, first from your hand. You can activate an opener effect as the first card played each turn. Alright, so yeah, it's an opener. Yeah, it's like a... God. Oh god, I forget the name of the effects in like various other card games I've played, but yeah, this is a common effect. You have to play it first to get the bonus. You made an excellent selection. I see what you're getting at. Now that I have their attention, I can reel them in. So now I reel them in, raise interest by eight. Art's so cute. No better potion for you. Wow, nice. That's all I have for now. Gotta brace myself for their turn. Gain two shield. What What is the shield? Blocks a set amount of stress equal to its current value. Shield is removed when brought down to zero, removed at the start of Sylvia's turn. Okay, so it is just like armor inside the spire. All right. Water off of Drake's back. Okay, let's see what the customer has to say. Alrighty. Wow, this is super neat. This is just as cool as I thought. When I came in, I thought the potions would be super cheap. Oh, that's going to keep me up tonight. Alright. I think I had my guard up, otherwise I'd be stressed. Yeah. I guess I can finish up the deal now. Let's close it out. Raise interest by nine, close the sale. Okay. Yeah, so right now we just have set them up, reel them in, brace yourself, and close it out, so... So what do you say? I'm sort of feeling it, yeah. I can't wait to try it. Thank you. Thanks, come again. Who's next? I ran into a hero who had the nicest things to say about this shop. This one looks nice. What are you asking for it? Okay, so we do... So, devalue the customer is going to decrease the value of the, po the price of the potion. Okay, so we do get enemy intense. Well, enemy intense like in Slay the Spire, but this is not an enemy. You're just my customer. I can't look at it like you're my enemy. Alright, so let's, um... I can reel them in. You're not going to... I don't need to brace myself because you're not going to make me stressed. You're just going to... So I should just reel them in. No better potion for you. I can tell you're proud of it. Okay. And this costs two time. I can raise interest by seven again. No better potion. I'm warming up to it. Alrighty. And I don't need to brace myself. So, let's end my turn. And I end my turn. Don't get me wrong, it's pretty nice. I can't bear to fleece you. Alrighty. So, close it out. Raise interest by nine and close out the sale. Yeah, let's do that. So what do you say? You're pretty good at this. Yeah. You're the best. Thank you. Come back soon. Who's next? I waved to you on the street yesterday, but I guess you didn't see me. I have my doubts, but I thought I'd at least ask about this one. Oh god. <laughs> Why are you depressed, friend? Reel them in, uh... So I can do... So you're just going to... Customer is going to lose extra patience, that's fine. I want to make a deal with you. Doesn't look that special. Reel them in. It's one of my finest potions. Doesn't look that special. Let's, uh, end the turn. We still have to, I need to get back to my shop and jack up all my prices. In, I, I can see you're in a hurry. Uh, okay, so... Ooh, set him up and close it out. So I could set him up and then I could close it out. 
to yes. It's beautiful. Made an excellent selection. Uh huh. And now I need to close. I need to close. Do we have a deal? Maybe it's not so bad. Well, all right then. Come back soon. That's all of them for now. That didn't go so badly. Yes, it's clear your haggling skills are already improving, but if I could offer a small suggestion. In a negotiation, sometimes the best move is to make the move you haven't thought about yet. When you don't like your options, take a moment and scheme your way to a better path. That's true in like, oh God, you just gave me a draw three. Oh, that's amazing. Thank you. Scheme. <laughs> I can be a little diabolical when I have to be. I look forward to seeing it in action. That's enough of a break for now. That was a break? Come on now, back to work. Who made you the boss? I mean, you, I guess you did say you're the brains of the outfit. This health potion should be done brewing. Let's take a look. God, this game is so adorable. I'm already in love with it. I love this kind of stuff. So much. Loving up your heroes will give them better stats for adventuring. Health potions look ready. Let's bottle them up. So I'm imagining what that's talking about is I can send heroes out to like collect resources for me. And depending on how good they are, they'll bring me back good stuff. All right, bottle the potions. So we have 12 of each, right? Um, so does that mean we're gonna get like multiple potions? It's, it just says times two. Cause I put a ton of uh, these things in there. Oh, but this is like the amount it had to get to to actually make it a full potion. Okay, yeah, I'm seeing now. Perfect brew. Beautiful bunch of stars. That's the first batch done. Why not make some more for the night shift? Let's diversify your offerings, though. You never know what will be in demand. Mana potions require green and yellow magimins. I think I have the proper ingredients lying around. A mandrake root and a sack of slime. <laughs> a sack of slime? Oh, well, not quite the happy little slime from Dragon Quest. Perfect. Let's make those mana potions. Alrighty, so it is, uh, boom. And we can see... So how do I actually see the, the like, recipes, basically? Because you just told me how to make it, but... Yeah, right? So... Boom. Balance of management is unstable. Here we go. Mana potions take a little longer to brew than health potions, so let's pump up the heat to speed up the process. Fuel! When added to your cauldron's fire, it will reduce the amount of time it takes to brew a potion. You can feed up to three pieces of fuel to the fire to really boost that brewing speed. You're gonna look out for different types of fuel from different areas of the island. Not all fuel is created equal. There's a little bit of hay left. Go ahead and feed it to the fire. Okay. So yeah, like, um, so does it, do you have to put in like, ah, that's it. Okay, every potion requires four. Yeah, it seems. Because I was wondering, I was like, because I made it to this, like, little bar here with just two. Like, putting two ingredients in here, but it wouldn't let me brew it. So you must have to get to four. And then, yeah, we have three, uh, fuel that we can use on it. Uh, oh, I'm putting it down here. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. So if I take it away, it takes three. If I put it in, okay, it just reduces it by one. Cool. That's all I got, so. Great. Now I can open shop for the afternoon to sell the health potions you brewed this morning. Beautiful. To new ingredients, make sure to stop by Quinn's shop. Let's take a moment to think about your haggling strategy. Adding new haggling tips to your arsenal is the key to convincing customers to pay you more money. Okay, the deck builder. Here are your cards on this page. These are the haggling skills you had to begin with. Head over to my page to see the new haggling tips I thought I taught you. Okay. Recognize that one. New haggling, new haggle techniques will appear here as you learn them. To add new techniques to your active deck, you'll have to make space for them. Mouse over any card in the deck and press the minus button to remove it. Then you'll be able to click on the card to add it to your deck. Okay, so it says 20 out of 20. Oh, because I have so many of each ones. So, which ones do I want to take out? Brace yourself. I mean, let's see, we have two of these. Let's take out two of those and grab two of these. Draw power is usually incredibly strong in uh, card games. 
And yeah, we do have relationships with every character. Owl is taking Sylvia under his wing, sharing what he knows about running a business. Cool. Alright, so we have Scheme. So we have uh, one card that lets us draw just one card and only takes one turn, and Scheme takes two uh, time periods, but we get three cards. Sure. Alright, so now we just open shop, right? Do you have any need to put potions on display? Oh, whoopsie. Yeah, yeah, that, that would be a good call. Thank you, Owl. Boom. Potion, potion, turn. Open shop! Come one, come all! Do you ever get used to the smell? This one might work for me, but I'm not entirely sold yet. Alrighty, so... You're gonna lower the price, so that's fine. Uh, raise interest by four. If opener applies, set them up. Okay. That one's a winner. Okay, so let's draw some cards. What else have I got? Uh-huh. So, now that we've done that, I can use, uh, so yeah, this. Increase interest applied by real amin by 20%. So now we use real amin. It's one of my finest potions. That might be coming around. And then, uh, God, we can do even more. Because I still have a close it out here. Okay, yeah, draw power is just as powerful as I thought it was going to be. Because you don't have to waste time ending your turn. Because that wastes uh, one whole time period and they get to go. But I can completely close out the sale before they even take a turn. Need a different approach. Oh, I'll just close it out more. So I could raise the interest by nine and just close it now. Why don't we just do that to make things easier? Because you're going to lower the price anyway, so... What do you say? I don't know, maybe. People say I'm hard to please. Come back soon! Come on up. I love supporting a family business. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Alrighty. So, yeah, you're gonna lose more patience than normal. So, let's set him up. Excellent selection. It could go either way. Scheme. I don't remember my lessons. Okay, now reel him in. Wanna make a deal with you. Getting a feel for it. So, I could draw another card again. Ooh, I could reel them in again. To make a deal with you. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're moderately interested. Look at that. Do we have a deal? Might be into it. Yes, 59. What a pleasant outcome. Take care. So yeah, the other characters we're gonna meet that I'm gonna steal techniques from are gonna be like other unique characters. These are kind of just the generic characters, but be interesting once some of the, the bosses come in. That's all of them for now. While haggling, pay attention to what your customers are thinking. They'll be their next move against you. Cool. Nice job. Now don't forget those mana potions. There's still time to sell them before the day is over. Let's bottle them up. So- oh wow. I didn't think there was still gonna be time, but yeah, okay, we have multiple periods here. So yeah, it's... Okay. Yeah, I was thinking there was just gonna be day and night, but no, we have more time than that. Okay. So, let's go check on our mana potions. Bottle these... things. A perfect brew. Value up. Great, we can sell these for the last block of the day. Before we do, however, let's brew a new set of mana potions. This time we'll kick it up a notch. Got some ingredients stashed away for a rainy day that'll push our potion to the next tier. Ooh. Sack of hive slime. Two slimes are better than one. Okay, 18, 18, and we got some extra hay. So yeah, these are just more effective. Let's drop these in and make some real potions. Okay, so, boom. And yeah, we have way more uh, Magamins in this, which is going to make it better. And yeah, we got a tear up. Okay, so yeah, using more effective uh, um, Ingredients will get you better potions, makes sense. I thought we were gonna get like more potions, but it seems like for the most part we always get two. Maybe there's upgrades that give us more each time we brew or something, but for right now, that's all we got. This batch will need to brew overnight, so you can bottle them up in the morning. In the meantime, let's fit in one last haggling session. I guess I can go ahead and uh, finish this day off. I do want to get this video up today, but it'd feel weird to me to end it now. Let's at least finish off day one. All right, let's open shop. Oh god, I, I'm always gonna forget. Every single time I'm gonna forget to display them. 
Alrighty. Open shop. Lego. I'm ready to do. Just a heads up, I noticed some dust bunnies in the corner. This might work for me, but I'm not entirely sold yet. Why do you need a mana potion for, friend? What's a craftsman need with mana? Okay, so you do have a shield. So it blocks a set amount of interest equal to its current value. Shield is removed and brought down to zero. Okay. Oh, wow, I got terrible cards. Oh, my cards suck. Nah, we're just gonna have to end the turn. I just got close it out. Smell all these potions is making me lightheaded. Uh-oh, they've got one foot out the door. Yeah. Okay, now I drew, I drew some good things. So set them up. And then uh, I need to think. Reel them in. Beautiful. And you lose extra interest and you're going to stress me out. I think I should just close it out now. I might be coming around. People say I'm hard to please. Yeah. Back soon. Who's next? You must be eager to call it a night. I'll be quick. Sell me something. How about this? Okay. Once again. What are you going to do? What's that? Customer is going to force you to draw a stress card. Oh. Rude. Set them up. Reel them in. And brace myself. Beautiful. Okay, now we can end my turn. I have two armor. Are you going for irony? Customer's always right. Right? Haha, <laughs> -ha, I was shielded. Okay, at the end of your turn applies tension. Double stress received from all sources. Oh god. Alright, so I could... How much time do I have? I can set him up again, reel him in, and then... I can close it out. Beautiful. Alrighty. Take it or leave it. Might be into it. There you go. What a pleasant outcome. Take care. That's all of them for now. Yay. Careful of hiring big hero expeditions because that causes disruptions in the local ecosystem. I think I could get the hang of all this. Are these magic rooms? Hey, what's the, what's the big idea? You can't set up shop here. Sure I can. I live here. You're invoking squatters rights because I've got dibs. I've been kicking back in this trash heap for weeks now. You didn't clean up that weird looking mildew in the corner, did you? Saving that for later. I think there's been some mistake. My name's Sylvia. I've just inherited this place. Huh. Just when you're sure you know a condemned building when you see it. Maybe your arrival isn't all bad news. You're obviously some kind of potion switch. As it happens, I've got a semi-legitimate business selling all sorts of magical ingredients. You know, like the kind of stuff you use to make potions. She kicked some business my way. Uh, sure. I mean, ingredients sounds good. Sure thing. I'm definitely going to need ingredients before long. And now when it's time to buy, you'll think of me, Quinn. I call that move planting the seed. Feel free to use it in your own hustle. Ooh, planting the seed. I like your art. Uh, so it raises interest by eight at the start of customer's turn. Ooh, interesting. For three turns, so it's a, it's a damage over time. <laughs> All right. You know, I think I will use that. But where can I find your shop? It's hard to miss. Just go outside and look up. Uh, I'm excited to get to know you. Excited to get to know you. Maybe we can hang out. Not really big on hanging out. But, I don't know. I can make an exception for you. Uh, oh yeah, we got, a, we got a little bit of relationship increase. Either way, guess I'll see you around. Unless that weird mildew gets you first. Later, Quinn. Awesome. This could actually work. Yay! End of day one, week one. Oh, look at the adorable little nap you're taking. God, I wish this was me running my cute little potion shop. Alright, we got 412, competition day, recommended competition potions, round one, two, three, prize, 10,000. Alrighty. So competition day is day 10, so I need to have these ready by then. Alright, let's go to the next day. The, the days before competition and stuff reminds me of Monster Rancher. Another series I loved as a kid. Just gotta take this one day at a time. Oh wow, is this an actual potion shop? I could have sworn it was all boarded up just the other day, and now... Potions! Yeah, pardon the mess, I'm working to get the place up and running again. Well, I'm impressed! You must know what you're doing! That's... really kind of you. 
The truth is, I'm new to town and new to running a shop. I'm sort of figuring it all out as I go. Really? I'm new here too. Name's Mint, and I just got to town a few days ago. I'm Sylvia, resident potions witch, and by resident, I mean I literally live here. Seriously, so good to meet you, Sylvia. Now I have to ask, does Foster the Formidable ever set up shop here, or Docs the Defenestrator? Uh, that would be a huge honor. That would be a huge honor, but I'm not sure I recognize them. You didn't have posters of them in your bedroom when you were little? I guess that was just me. I might be a bit of a fangirl. To be honest, I've been geeking out pretty much non-stop since I got here. I mean, this island has a lot of historical significance for the Heroes Guild. This is where they defeated Maven, the Witch Queen of Rafta. Yeah, we heard about that. Of course, the fallout from that battle left the island uninhabitable for a while. But the whole place is rebuilding now, and that includes the local chapter of the guild. They put out a call for new recruits. I'm not cut out for heroing. You've got the muscles to be a hero. You got the muscles to be a hero? Ever thought about joining? Aw, oh, thanks. I do work out. And as a matter of fact, joining up is exactly why I came to Rafta. I answered the call. Hey, that's great. Congrats on the new gig. Thanks, but I'm only a provisional member for now. They've got me running odd jobs for the XP. The XP? That's slang for experience. <laughs> Any day now, I'll be proper- I'll be ready for proper adventures outside of town. After all, there's a whole island out there teeming with mystery and danger. And potion ingredients, of course. Swing by the guild hall if you're ever looking for loot. I could help you out for a small fee. Sounds promising. Thanks for the tip. No sweat, Sylvia. I know we just met, but I'm already rooting for you. It's going to work in your favor, I bet. Evoke sympathy in your customers, and they'll be more likely to cut you some slack. Sympathy. Gain two shield, apply sympathy for one turn. Increases all interest gained by 25%. Make them feel bad. <laughs> Manipulate your customers. I'll definitely keep that in mind. I have a feeling you're gonna do great. Now if you'll excuse me, I got some fetch quests to tackle. You wouldn't believe how many people in this town misplaced family heirlooms. Bye, Mint. You seem cool. I'm liking all the characters so far. Alrighty, slime season. It's open season on slimes. With heroes determined to prune their numbers, the market is suddenly drowning in ooze. Slime ingredients will cost more, essence ingredients will cost less. Wait, so it's open season. With heroes determined to prune their numbers, the market is suddenly drowning in ooze. So if you're drowning in slimes, why do the ingredients cost more? If you're drowning in slimes, wouldn't they be cheaper? I'm guessing my brain's doing a dumb right now. Essence ingredients will cost less, though. Celebrity chef Dravian has revealed his reliance on potions, leading artisans of all sorts to wonder what potions might do for their crafts. Increase in craftsman numbers. Customers. So we're out of ingredients. Can't make any more potions. Might as well check out Quinn's shop, right? Or else there's always the Heroes Guild. I like the uh, idea of uh, the Heroes Guild. I like the idea of sending Mint out, but I think we're going to go ahead and end things off here. This has been very, very fun, and I'm excited to play more of this. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more.